All right, well, after I saved last, Shupin's face has replaced Patim's. So, good sign for now, maybe? All right, yes, mock exams, Mr. Pachaku. I know. I'm on it. I promise. Doing my darndest. <laughs> yes, I am working out, Shupin. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Eek. Eek. Burr, I can't believe this. It's bloody freezing. What kind of sadistic idea was it to have sports day in the middle of winter anyway? Oh, you say that now, but there's nothing quite like running laps in the sleet and hail. Really wakes you up, you know? It's invigorating, like... Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't worry. After a few events, you won't even be able to feel the... Hypothermia eating its way through my skin? That's comforting. Thanks. There's that cheery optimism again. Just what I'd like to see. I'd better be off, anyway. Best keep moving. Wouldn't want anything falling off. I'll be cheering for you, Rosie. Ah, thanks. Same to you. Well, here goes nothing. I've got the 100 meter sprint up next. Hopefully I won't show myself up too badly. I think we're over 70 in fitness. Prove me right, girl! Run with that beret! Huh. Ugh, my poor lungs. Yay! Rosie, did, uh, you just come in first? Huh? Ah, uh, yeah, I guess so. When did you get here, anyway? I didn't think you were even in school today. Uh, well, I made it in for the important parts. Well, well, that's what counts, I guess. Anyway, I'd best get going. I've only been here five minutes, and I've already been roped into the relay. But, uh, you were really amazing just now, Rosie. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Lady Luck must really love me. That was extremely lucky of us. Good job. Good job, Rosie. Hey, Merle. Do you want me to walk you? No. Okay. Good. That works out. How are we doing? Okay, you're not fully in love with us, and you're smiling at us. So that's good. All right, we'll try shooting again. How about to the cinema? And we'll change our shirt. Okay. Think this one, but I better save just in case. Okay, I can't rem. I just man, it's been so long with Shupin. Was a gutterfly? <laughs> Something more exciting. Like, none of these... Does he really... Oh, of course, music. Duh, wow. I really gapped. That was really bad. Yeah, he loves music. I forgot about his... His love for Zac Efron. Sorry, Shupin. Good thing I saved, because, man, I'm just like, huh? I've been dating a lot of more cultured guys recently, okay? It's hard for me to remember, y'all. That sounds really terrible, but... Sorry, Shupin. Yeah, I'm social. You should come and socialize at the music club. What do you think about that? Oh my goodness. And I'm smart too, I know. I try. Shape and I swear if it's you again. Oh my goodness. Hitting me up with all them compliments. Do you love me or something? No? Still, dude. Honestly. All right, take you to the bakery. We'll chill at the bakery. Okay. Water, please. Thank you. All right, makeup. Okay. We should... Yeah, we should have based that. That's fine. And... Any change? Monsieur! 
Love me. Come to the music club, please, so I can start hanging out with my girl at the team. That's all I want in life. Hang out with my girl at the team. Uh, da, 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 da. I used to do artistic stuff. Yeah, okay, we did that. Oh. Oh, the Pura Cura thing is determined by how charming you are. I never realized that until now. Wow, this late in the game and I'm learning new things. Hey, these actually aren't too shabby. Not the best Pura Cura I've ever taken, but still. Yeah, they look pretty good. Almost a pity we have to draw all over them now. Where do you think I should stick this mustache sticker? If you think that's going anywhere near my face, you've got another thing coming. Huh. Can't hurt to try. Well, they're not the best picks ever, but all things considered, they're pretty decent. For now, anyway. Until Shupin gets in there with his mustache sticker. My mush mustache. Shmush mush mustache. And it's Christmas time. And he gave us a present and we went caroling. And thanks. Right, I'm not gonna see Fatim for a while now. Unfortunately. Um, back up. There we go. I've got mail. Merry Christmas. And like a big white blanket. Hello, Rosie. Have you been enjoying the snow? I know many people are not too fond of it, but I absolutely love it. I suppose it might be because I hail from Northern Europe that I find it so much fun. But then again, my brother doesn't seem too happy about the weather, so it might just be me. I think I might make a snowman later today. Can you think of a suitable name? Take care, Patim. Oh, Patim. You're too good to us. Goodness, Shubin. Forgot how hard it is to get you to love us right at the end. Maybe you'll want to go skating. I don't know if we ever went skating with Shupin, actually. Maybe that wasn't an option. Okay. Did we ever do this? We did. I just don't remember. Man. Has it really been that long, or am I just getting more and more forgetful as I get older? <laughs> like, eh, I don't know. That was like... That was three weeks ago. I can't be expected to remember. I wonder who that could be. Hey, Shubin. I'll hang out with you. If it gets you to love us, so I can start hanging out with the team. That's what we'll do. Artistic again. Um, to do exercise. Christmas Day's here. I will ask for wealth. Not that I need that either, really, but... I just want Shupin to love us. There we go! Finally! Okay, once he joins, we can in, we can start. Operation Smell. I smell! Go away. Okay, Fatim. Fatim! Oh, fine, I'm gonna go to the shopping center. Are you here, girl? Nope. I tried. I'm gonna have to start safe scumming Patim. I really didn't think she would be the one to like say, I don't wanna hang out with you none. Ah, I guess I better keep going until he comes. Um, what were we talking about? Oh. I can't remember. I'll just save up for that. Phew, I don't think I did too badly. I'm no expert, but that looked pretty good from where I'm standing. Well, there's still room for improvement. I just hope these machines are still around next time. Uh, next time? Sure. Rosy Cheeks never backs down from a challenge. Maybe I'll be able to put on a better show next time, eh? For your benefit, Shupin. Assuming you haven't joined the music club by then. Relax. Hang 
out. Exercise. Okay. We're gonna call the team after we save. Come on, girl. Ah, oh, thank you. The one time I save, you actually say yes. Yes, I think I can make it today. Thank you very much for inviting me, Rosie. No problem. I'll see you there then. Ah, uh, yes. See you in a little while. Success. Ah, I love your casual outfits. Cute. So, team. Hmm. What are you thinking of doing after you finish school? Do you have any plans for a uni or anything? Hmm. Well, I hadn't given it much thought, but I was planning on attending North Main University. Really? That dive? But you're so smart. I thought you'd have been off to Oxbridge or somewhere for sure. Uh, well, that's... I don't know about being smart. I very much doubt I'd be good enough for Oxford or Cambridge, though my mother seems quite keen on me applying there. North Main has quite a nice music department, I hear. That and I'd be able to live at home. Wow. I thought everyone would be desperate to get as far away from home as possible. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Oh yes, I understand the sentiment. I would likely require a scholarship to move away, however. And if I do decide to study music, my likelihood of receiving one is slim to none. I suppose I could do as Mother says and apply to study maths. I'm just not entirely sure that my heart would be in it. I can honestly say that I can't imagine anything worse. Maths at university. My head hurts already. You don't like maths, Rosie? Slight understatement there. Rosie doesn't. I love maths. I actually rather enjoy it. But music is altogether more interesting, wouldn't you say? Couldn't agree more. Hey, you can always do both. Get a math scholarship and take a little music on the side. Best of both worlds, right? Yes, I suppose. <sighs> I should probably give this a little more thought. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I think hard about why you really want to study music, too. I'm like, isn't North Main University where Shupin goes to study music? Potentially? <sighs> now I got a question where I'm gonna go. I just don't know. Okay, Shupin, don't let me down. Yeah! Alright, finally. Uh, uh, um, what does it look like exactly? Uh, I don't really know. They come in different designs. I guess it's usually like a wee black box with buttons. I mean, it's okay if you don't have one. Don't put yourself out. Huh. Someone's actually in the music room besides me and Fatim? That's a first. Oh, ah, I think, is this what you were looking for? Hey, yeah, you're a lifesaver. You don't know if you got any capos or anything as well, do you? Capos? Uh, uh, hey, Shubin, you joining the club after all? Huh? Oh, hey, Rosie. Actually, uh, I'm kind of just here to pick up some things. You don't mind, do you? It was only really this guitar tuner I was after, but you got loads of stuff in here. I don't mind at all. I'd have thought you'd have most of this stuff already, though, but with you working in a music shop and all. I've got a few bits and pieces at home, but it's a hassle having to bring it all into school every day. I just figured I'd start trying to get some practice in where I can, you know. But, uh, I should probably let you girls get on with it. Well, you know, if you were a member of the music club, you could just practice here. We've got this big, warm, soundproof room, music stands, microphones... I don't know. I mean, I'd have to be in here quite a lot. I think you'd probably get sick of me. I'm sure we could handle it. A and we have a duty to, uh, assist anyone interested in music. Mm-hmm. You'd be doing us a favor, in fact. Even if you were only to stay a little while. Our doors are always open. Uh, okay. Really? If it'll make you stop shouting at me. Result! You won't regret it, Chupin. And hey, with three members, I think we can officially call ourselves a club! I have to admit, I assumed you two were just squatting in here because you didn't want to join a sports club. Pfft, not likely. We're really dedicated, Batim and I. Though, uh, I don't know if I've made all that much progress since the beginning of the year. But still, we've got bags of time left. I'm sure we can all help each other out, right? 
Not sure how much help I'll be, but sure, if you say so. Hmm. Looks like we finally roped in a professional. All right, we've got our Kosei in the club. Operation I Smell can finally go into effect. And then we can start working on the team some more. <laughs> but first, Lamb. Yeah, I really thought Lamb would be the one to be like, I don't want to hang out with you, but she was all about having a friend pretty early on. Well, we did gun our mocks. Okay, so, as of now, you love us. And you smile at us. So, um, let's, I guess, get you down. Let me just check from my notes from before with Shupin to get an ending with him. Okay, I have, I have to fill his bar, so as long as his bar is not full, we'll be fine. Uh, where did we go last? The park? Let's go to the shopping center. And pick things that he doesn't like. Um, actually, just stay... Although we're wearing punk clothes, so we should probably wear that. Alright. Um, accessories. This lacy garter. Yeah, okay. Hmm, I guess some people just don't appreciate a little skin. That's right, that's right. Work his affection down. That's what we want to do. Okay, so now we gotta pick. I guess I'm gonna go to a mid tier and hope that the team is also gonna s just stay in North Main. It's not exactly reaching for the stars, but I think these places look pretty good. And besides, it beats being stuck with stuffy academic types for three or four years. Hmm. I must admit I'm surprised at you, Miss Rosie. You do realize your current grades would likely be more than enough to get you into a top-ranking university. Really? I don't know, I kind of like the look of these ones, sir. And besides, rank isn't everything, right? <sighs> yes, I suppose so. Still, a few high-flying alumni might just push us up the league tables a bit. Huh. Way to cheer me on, sir. He's happier when you just decide to get a job. <laughs> Funnily enough. Okay. Mr. Pachaku is here. Uh, let's see. Hang out. Mm. Lamb again, eh? Goodness gracious me, lamb. I've got mail from Beck. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I clicked Beck instead of Shupin. I guess they look a little similar in here, but anyway. Okay, he doesn't dislike us enough yet. Let's go to the cinema. Wear the same clothes. We'll watch Anchors and A. Oh, shouldn't they all be in bed by now? <laughs> the kids. Oh my. Wow, CGI just keeps getting better and better. Some of that looks so realistic. I'm assuming you're not talking about the rapping bear or the tap dancing penguin here. And why were those things even in the movie? I thought it was meant to be about racing or something. I think you're looking too much into it. It had CGI critters doing cute stuff. What more could you possibly want? There's just no pleasing some people. They were cute. You missed the whole point of the show, Shupin. Okay. Club. Um, exercise. Hmm. Looks like I've got two free periods today. Not that there's much to do. Everyone else is still in lessons. I guess I could try the music room. There shouldn't be any lessons in there now, and I'm sure my piano's missing me. It's worth a shot at any rate. 
this a Shupin scene? Hmm. Doesn't sound like there's anyone inside. And now's as good a time as any to practice my scales and my arpeggios, right? I'll just... Yeah, I think this is Miss Chahan and... Oh my... <laughs> Sorry, Shupin, we've done this song and dance with you before. We're just trying to get you to not like us, is all. Um... Just keep wearing smelly clothes. Unfortunately. That's just a question. I can't decrease your points with me with those questions. Oi. Patim, anytime you want to hang out, though. Patim! Thank goodness. What if I save? Can I, like, save scum this part? Okay, good. Ah, yes, of course, Rosie. I, I had been thinking of asking you, actually. Ah, oh, great. Might as well get going then, I guess. Good old Patim. I knew I could depend on you. Ah, uh, hmm. Are you sure this is the right way, Rosie? It's just that I do not recognize most of these buildings. Huh? I'm pretty sure it is. That's the station just down there, see? And you can just about make out your tower block from here. I forgot that she has a terrible sense of direction. Oh yes, you're right, Rosie. I I'm sorry. I've never taken this road before, you see. I'm always worried that I'll get lost. These houses all look alike to me. It's quite pathetic, really, to think my house is just there. Nah, I'm the same, really. I don't know many of the streets in North Main other than the road to the station and the ones in the center of town. What more do you need to know, really? Ah, uh, I suppose you're right, Rosie. Still, I had best learn my way around soon if I am to attend university here. Imagine a student unable to find her way around. I wouldn't live it down. You're going to uni here in North Main, Patine? And we've had amnesia again. I am not quite sure as of yet, but it certainly seems that way. Despite what people say, I hear the university here is actually quite good. I had wanted to attend the open day, but unfortunately have not been able to locate the campus. You know, I think you'd be able to find it online pretty easily. Me on the internet? Oh, can you imagine? I think I would rather take my chances on the streets, Rosie, if it's alright with you. Bit melodramatic, eh, Patine? <laughs> I mean, you go online to email me pretty regularly. You're no stranger to the internet, girl. You'll be fine. I'll even come over and hold your hand if that's what's bothering you. Merle girl. Alright, let's check things. Still not yet. Nothing going there. Okay. Try again. I'm trying to smell as bad as I can, but it's not working. I think you'd be pretty good at it, really. Just don't think of it as dancing. It's just testing our reflexes, really. And I'd be right here to guide you through it. It'll be fun. I guess I could give it a go. Just don't take it personally if I crash into you or anything. Oh, oh, you can crash into me anytime, Shupin. <coughs> Rosie, down, girl. We're trying to get him together with a uh, patim. And that's how it's done. Wow. Wow. Darn it, we impressed him. This is not going well. We need you to stop loving us, please. Oh. I don't really know if tattoos are related to our coursework. Blur. Um. I wonder if we're charming enough for that tattoo scene. Okay, come on, dude. Dislike me already, please. <sighs> okay, we'll try the park. Wear the same clothes. Um. Which one will he dislike the most? Okay. That worked out. That worked out good. Uh, hang out.
Oh boy, get out of here, Mercedes. You don't understand true art. Uh, makeup. Exercise. What's happening now? It's Shupin's birthday. I am not going near that. And it's Valentine's Day, so don't call Shupin, whatever you do. Ugh, I stopped clicking on Beck's face. <sighs> yes, I know my heart is for Beck, but, but, okay, the team, I really need you to go out with me on Valentine's Day. Okay, good. I'll see you there. So, the team, any interesting TV shows been on lately? It seems like there's only ever the same old crap on nowadays. Have you seen anything decent lately? On television? Hmm. To tell you the truth, I hardly ever watch it. Until recently, we only had the five basic channels, and it seemed there was hardly ever anything worth watching. Now, of course, my brother is obsessed with watching that show where people dramatically open boxes. I watched five minutes and decided it wasn't for me. <laughs> Fair enough. I hear it's an acquired taste. I wonder what show that's referencing. Hmm. Aside from that, hmm. I mostly watch DVDs, I'm afraid. And even then, they are mostly old musicals and other outdated films. I doubt you'd be interested, Rosie. Really? I don't know. Old musicals are kind of fun. Depends on the film, I guess. And uh, how old are we talking? Oh, anything from the Golden Age. The 60s and 70s, maybe? It's just that they're all so technicolor and bright and optimistic. You cannot help but love them. And the songs are just so wonderful. They may be singing about disease or conscription or captured by the Nazis, but they certainly seem happy about it. Not much else you can do in that kind of situation, I guess. Indeed. Those are truly words to live by, Rosie. If you say so. If I bring you to tears, laughing tears, then I've done a good deed. <laughs> Patine, by any chance? Nope, it's Merle. Trying to muck things up, as usual. She just doesn't want me to get together with the Rastigar clan for some reason. Well, it's the time, almost time for that pancake thing again. Pancake day, you know. The most wonderful day of the entire month. I've got mail. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hello, Rosie. I hope you don't mind receiving another of my rambling emails. I shall try and keep it short this time. This might be a little out of the blue, but I really wanted to thank you again for spending so much time at the music club. Not that I think you come to the club for my sake, of course. Your skill at the piano is testament to that. The amount of hard work you have put in over these past months is amazing, and I only wish I had half the drive you have. At any rate, this is getting quite long, so I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you are well, and that you continue to grace the music club with your presence. Was that too much? Take care, Patim. Oh, Patim, Patim, Patim. Uh, girl? Nah. You're making me nervous. We're at the end of February, and it's getting harder and harder. Okay, um, shopping center. Maybe we'll go eat some disgusting food. How about I go get something to eat? Mm. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about this. Salad and water? Okay, so he's gonna get a... He's gonna get a salad. How about that? <laughs> I am absolutely famished. Apple pies? Oh my goodness, girl. You're joking. Honestly, Shupin, don't you know that we girls have a second stomach for sweets? Wow, I think we've managed to turn them off quite a bit with that. Girl, man, I haven't been able to eat that much since... I don't know, I think I was 14 when I was last able to eat that much food. It was not good. I do not recommend eating that much food in one go. Okay, so we've got pancakes. I don't want to skip through 
too fast because then I won't be able to get the um, the order from whatever girl's coming to see me. All right. Wow. I'm surprised as many people bothered showing up, to be honest. It's hard to imagine any of the other stalls could possibly be worse than ours. Ah, Rosie! I see that business is going well. Oh, hey, Patim. Uh, this is kind of new, us meeting outside the music room. Ah, uh, yes, well, the music room is rather out of the way. I can imagine it being quite troublesome for visitors to have to travel all the way to the third floor just to see my meager display. At any rate, as I had not had any visitors as of yet, I decided I should take the opportunity to visit the other stalls. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. I would have helped you with your display, but I kind of got roped into this. Oh no, not at all. This stall looks wonderful, Rosie. I can tell you put a lot of effort into it. Huh, <laughs> thanks. It's nothing amazing, though, really. We're only making pancakes, and I'm not even particularly good at that. Well, they look very... cute. You don't want any, do you? I think I've just about got the hang of not setting fire to anything. And we've got all these toppings to choose from. Ah, well, actually... As I was making my way here, I stopped off at a few other stalls. Did you know we have a boxing club? I was very surprised. It was the first I had heard of it. And so I stayed to have a look and ended up talking to the club president. Wow, Patim talking to someone other than me? That's one for the books. Really? You're not going to switch clubs or anything, are you? Uh, no, nothing like that. It's a little too late for that now, at any rate. But, uh, as I was leaving, I mentioned that I would be stopping at your stall, and they were rather insistent that I bring them something back. Uh, rather a lot, actually. I I'm sorry, is that alright? Eh? Of course, I mean, that's great. The more customers we get, the more money we'll make, right? And the boxing club probably eats like pigs. Uh, thank goodness. I did not wish to cause you any trouble. You seem very busy as it is. There are three of them in all, and they were not especially forthcoming as to what they wanted. Something that tastes good and with as many toppings as possible, I think, was the president's only requirement for his. Okay, I think I can handle that. What about the other two? I forget their names, but one wanted something simple, maybe lemon and sugar, and said he liked his pancakes crispy, and the other just wanted something with cream, I think. Okay. I think I've got that. I'll try not to mess them up. I'm sure they will turn out to be delicious. That's the dream. Okay. Alright, so, Club President wanted something good with lots of toppings. Way to be specific. A perfect pancake with all the toppings. I'm on it. <laughs> Okay. Strawberry cream, chocolate, chocolate, lemon, and sugar. Did it. Turned out good. Okay. Simple and crispy. Lemon and sugar. Okay. So overdone with lemon and sugar. Got it. Such good elevator music. Okay. Lemon and sugar. Did it. Perfect. And something with cream. I think the simplest pancake possible. Alright. One dollop of cream. That'll do! And done! There you go, I hope they're okay! Ah, oh, thank you, Rosie! They look absolutely delicious, I'm sure they will love them! Huh, <laughs> well, I try. Now you hurry back to your boxers, I'm sure they're missing you. Ah, oh, well, Ellen was teaching me correct right hook technique before I left. I suppose he did seem quite eager to continue the lesson. I will see you later, Rosie! I... I'm not going to ask. And if Shupin shows up. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Shupin's hiding there. He made us a pancake. Well, I'll just have to make a 
pretty disgusting pancake. <laughs> oh. He made us a disgusting pancake. We'll have to make him a disgusting pancake. That's only fair. Okay. And then we'll put everything on it. Yeah. Hell, love this. Let's find out. Oh. Uh, huh? Is it okay? Need I remind you that after what you put me through, you... Uh, he thinks it's great. <laughs> I can't believe he thought it was great. Chupin. I deliberately sabotaged that pancake. You can't just turn around and say it's great. Ugh, Chupin. Mail. Pancakes. Springtime. Hello, Rosie. Are you enjoying the lovely spring weather? Well, actually, it's still rather cold, but that doesn't seem to have stopped the birds. There are a rather loud bunch currently nesting outside my window, which would be very endearing if they didn't wake me at 5 a.m. each morning. I also saw a squirrel the other day, which isn't particularly interesting, I'll admit, but they're very cute, aren't they? I should like to keep one as a pet, but my brother keeps threatening to inform the police whenever I suggest it. Surely they have better things to do. Still, I don't want to risk it. Take care, Patim. Okay. Patim, have I done it? Nope. But we've got more affection with you, so that's good. Okay. Let's try and get Shupin to hate us. I'm trying my best. Maybe I'll just stuff my face at the shopping center, like, over and over. And eventually, he'll just think we're gross. That's the plan for now, I guess. Ugh. 